This outpouring of love and respect proves that 35 years after he stopped fighting, he is still the champion of the world. Muhammad wants young people of every background to see his life as proof that adversity can make you stronger. We should honor him by letting our gifts go among the world as he did. God bless you, my friend, go in peace. Now at 11, goodbye to the greatest, a final farewell to Muhammad Ali. It was a celebration of Ali's monumental life lasting more than three hours long. It followed a 19-mile procession through Ali's hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. CBS 4 sports anchor Jim Barry is live in Louisville, just one place Ali's legacy will live on forever. Jim? Guys, that is certainly right. Of course, he was born in Louisville, but Muhammad Ali, as we know, belonged to the world, and the world flocked to his hometown to give the greatest one great send-off. Now, it was a long day, to be sure, but it's one that folks here will never, ever forget. Straight out of Louisville, greatest of all time. In the city of Louisville Friday, it was all about Ali. This is awesome. In early morning, the home folk waved farewell to his motorcade. Why are you here on the side of the road this morning? To honor the greatest representative we've ever had of the city. By mid-afternoon, the famous folk descended upon a huge memorial with stories of the king who had a common touch. He'd go in barber shops and taxi stands and just give the people a chance to uh, relate to him. I thought that was a fantastic quality. As the Ali Memorial Service unfolded, it felt as if the world was saying goodbye in a multi-ethnic farewell that spoke to Ali's universal appeal. Before James Brown said, I'm black and I'm proud, Muhammad Ali said, I'm black and I'm pretty. The way to honor Muhammad Ali is to be Muhammad Ali today. I can just hear Muhammad saying now, Well, I thought I should be eulogized by at least one president. After three hours, the speeches were done. The crowd left weary. What did you think of the service? I thought it was a good service. I think it was a little bit too long, but I think it, was, it went over. Everybody spoke well. But many left moved, including this couple from Miami. It was just truly a beautiful, wonderful experience to be part of. Jeff Young got this Ali keepsake when he was just 17. How do we pay it forward? You just try and live every day by the principles that Ali taught you, and he'll never die, ever. Well, Jeff, you nailed it. Muhammad Ali left behind a roadmap for all of us to follow. Make sure that you matter, and make certain that you also let others know that they matter, too. Live in Louisville, Kentucky, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports. And Jim, knowing you, I'm sure it was quite an honor for you to be there for this day today. It really was. It's certainly uh, one of the highlights of my sportscasting career to be here to see so many people here. And not just the legends like Jim Brown and Larry Holmes and Sugar Ray Leonard, but also just regular people from all over the globe coming here to pay respects to a man who was a great champion in the ring and a champion for people outside the ring. And, you know, uh, it makes you feel that the world is full of beautiful people and you felt like all of them came here today to pay respects to the champ. Jim, thanks very much. Thanks for bringing us the stories today from Louisville. And we have some great stuff on our website, cbsmiami.com. Much more on the life and the legacy of Muhammad Ali. And we have a whole section on his many connections to South Florida.